Hey guys, how's it going? Phil Crow back. Um, I had my next round of games, and they were against Masterson. So let's get right into them. Uh, again, 40th loop versus OG Vader. And I'm kind of, I'm really disappointed in this game. This could have been pretty big for me, but we'll show you how it goes. So basically, just every other OG Vader deck against my 40 loop. So start with the tank in the back. He doesn't seem to be playing anything, so let's see if I can make it for She puts down Afra. This game kind of got weird for a bit. Uh, so I let Afra attack the tank. Uh, I go in, push everything out of the way. Kind of get Vader in a bad spot. It kind of sucked. I put... I needed to put those Rebel Troopers a little farther back and I would have been okay. That's a lot of damage I lost just because of bad placement. So I get a little bit of damage down. He hasn't done anything, so... I'm saving the turret because I figured he had ATST, but he never played it. So I'm trying to save the turret as much as possible. I got a decent hand, so I got Wookiee back and then tank. And I got Boomerang coming out, so I got a good push going, coming. I'm really surprised he didn't play... HST around here somewhere, but I guess he was too worried about defending. So I got this coming up. He has Afra in the back, so I wait for Afra to stun Wookie. He actually helps me out by pulling him. Well, there's a stun. I just go on and turret. it. Uh, he's got stuff back here, but I just try and keep him off me as much as possible. I keep putting stuff down. He ends up dying. And he has a decent push, but Boomerang Guy does actually... Fair bit of work there. So this isn't too bad. I get the Wookiee out. Get him in a pushing, pushing position. Because I got tower down to half. So He just kind of sips back. Fortunately, the Wookiee kind of goes too far ahead. I was hoping to get a tank out. but uh, He pulls me. I start taking tower aggro. So I got to get out of there. I don't know why it switched from the Wookiee to me. But that's how it goes. So I need to get some health. Uh, he doesn't have much on the field right now, so I'm okay. Still holding on to turret forever. I'm like, where is his ATST? He hasn't played it. So he just has it sitting in his hand for the entire game. So I back spawn a tank. I'm trying to get some damage on the turret. I just want to get the tank in range and then just dive. But I was trying to put the turret up here. And it didn't work, so tank doesn't get in range. Uh, I get pulled in. I push stuff back, but... He basically puts a whole bunch of shit in here, and everything dies. I have a whole bunch of energy, unfortunately, saved up. But throw down that. Throw down the tank. Try and get... Try and clear this out as much as possible. I probably should have let the turret tank a little bit, but that's how it goes. Um, I was trying to get in turret range, but he keeps playing stuff that I can't get by. I'm also super low, so I kind of have to hold back, which is unfortunate. So here he goes for a major push. Uh, there's Afra. I was trying to take the stun. But he ends up dying. I have a pretty good uh, defense with turret boomerang guy. But So here's basically my chance. It's like I'm just going. There's not much time left. Unfortunately, he's... Dude stays alive a little bit. So I just want to clear this. I just need to get something in tower range. He just pulls me in, so I can't do it. So I'm just going to go get a health pack, and hopefully I can uh, get back in time to clear the tower. Unfortunately, nothing can get in range, so I just kind of dive. Uh, he gets a good stun off here and clears everything, and I just don't have enough. I was, like, two energy away from getting... My on mine up again. So that was really rough. I think I probably should have won that game. But that's how it goes sometimes. I couldn't get anything in tower range to dive, so. Fortunately, that's how that game went. And then next up, uh, we replay it because it was a draw. So, same decks, it happens.
So, I wasn't sure if he used ATS or not, but I know that he didn't play all his cards. So I just cycle these guys, and then I finally see the ATS. So I was like, okay. So I'm, I was gonna put my tank up here, and for some reason, it goes on down there. I wanted to play my tank against the ATS. So I'm kind of screwed. Six energies are wasted. Because he's just going to sit back and wait until this gets in the turret ring. So I was hoping to get him thinking I was going to split push and then come back over here. But he just tanks it. Everything walks into range. And I'm in trouble. So I'm trying to clear this out as best as I can. Which actually doesn't do too well. But he has a lot of energy coming plot. And then this is basically over. I don't have anything to really defend against this. Uh, this push isn't strong at all. He kills me. I'm basically just trying to tank as much as possible. But these things take over, and then I'm basically done. So that tank bot, which is bad. Uh, I wonder. I probably shouldn't have reinforced it. I should, probably should have just let it go. I thought maybe I could get some work done with the boomerang behind it, but I played it too early. And then yeah, just the ATSD again. Iron Mine it just to get some damage out. I have a pretty good hand. So I'm hoping I can defend this well, but it doesn't end up working out too well. So this is the big thing. You get to do back out in front. And then you just basically waste my tower. I couldn't get him pushed out far enough for uh, for him to stop AoEing my other turret. Then I end up dying here. I was trying to take out this guy who ends up just wiping out everything. And then everything dies, unfortunately. So basically I'm just in all out aggro mode right here. So I have the tank anyways there. So push it out. Try and get as much damage down as possible. He's got a lot of pushback here. Uh, basically, I can't defend. I'm just hoping like my tower will do something. So I put a tank down there. I see it gets the turret, so I'm like, okay, whatever. That turret's done. I have to try and push this. I was trying to drag these away as much as possible, but it didn't work. So... He basically had everything coming down the left side, and I had no way of defending with, while well, trying to get a turret. So, he ended up winning that one. That's why the first game hurt so much. I was like one hit away from having a tower, pulling off the win. This game just got messy, unfortunately. I wasn't able to keep up. And then finally our last game. Uh, he's Bodhi, I'm Dengar. If you're watching this, you've probably seen my Dengar deck. So. That's what I'm used to. I'm used to playing Bodies with it. Usually whale Bodies, so even levels I'm alright. He's got your basic. He's using Iron Mine. He's got Wookie as well, which is a little different than some, but I uh, just take, give him a little poke there. Basically, Sand Trooper doesn't do much against Bodhi because a lot of them will only run maybe like Rebel Troopers and the rest are usually pretty tanky stuff. So, uh, I use my TIE Fighter just to get it down. It's the same thing as Sand Trooper. Get a little damage down on uh, Gunk Droid. I was kind of sitting a little energy, but I wanted my tank back a little bit. So, I have a pretty good defense here. Uh, MTV, do back. Just got to make sure that doesn't get through. But I was trying to take out... Uh, the boomerang guy, but I wasn't able to. I had four lom up, and the tur turret was actually doing some damage, so I wasn't too worried about dying there. This is basically the best you're going to get for sand troopers, pathfinders, and other guys huddled up. So he drops an iron mine. I'm hoping to take advantage because he's busy down here. So get a little damage up here. He drops a turret. Wasn't quick enough, though, however. So I just take a little poke damage and get out of there. And then he drops the gunk. And I got Blazeman ready for it, so it wasn't too bad. I get two-thirds of the tower for nothing for free, so that's alright. Doing the running man. 
Now I'm just waiting. I got time. I got do back and place back whenever. So I'm feeling pretty good in this spot. He has a little damage here, but I got a fair amount of damage on his. So I'm just basically waiting for this Wookiee. Throw the do back down when I get to hit 10. So I want to try and get as much damage down on him here as possible. So do the TIE Fighter, get some extra damage down on everything. Uh, get full on zapping. And I was hoping I could distract him long enough to get that MTV going. Which I did. So that was pretty good damage. Uh, I just want to die here. He's got a Wookiee coming back. But as long as it's not a G and K, I'm okay. So I get a nice push here with this guy tanking for the Dewback. So the Dewback goes pretty healthy. Uh, take care of this and the gunk. He ends up tanking too much here. He ends up getting zapped. Dying. And then I just... Bladesman, MTV, it's super easy. Just take out these guys and make sure they don't get any damage. He gets out of turret, but it's way too late. Then I just make sure he doesn't get anywhere near my turret. And that's that. So another draw, tie, I guess. Kind of sucks, but that's what happens sometimes. You get lucky. Sometimes you don't. He played really well. Especially that second game. He just crushed me. There wasn't much I could do. So, thanks for tuning in, guys. Hope you enjoyed these matches. Talk to you later.